Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make chocolate muffins and this is what it looks like. These muffins are wonderfully moist and dense and they have this deep chocolate flavor. So the first thing that you need to do is to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 190 degrees Celsius. And then you will need a 12 cup muffin pan. Now I've just lined mine with paper liners, but if you don't want to do that, you could just butter the inside of your muffin cups, or you could spray them with one of those nonstick sprays. Now these muffins are like a quick bread, no mixer. We're just dry ingredients in one bowl, wet in the other. We mix them separately and then we mix them together and that's it. Great. <laughs> So we're going to start with the dry ingredients. So in a large bowl, I have one and three quarter cups, which is 225 grams of all purpose flour. And then the chocolate flavor in these muffins is coming in two parts, one from unsweetened cocoa powder, and we're also going to add some chocolate chips. So for the unsweetened cocoa powder, you will need two thirds of a cup, which is 60 grams. And you could use the, and I'm just going to sift that because cocoa powder just always seems to have lumps. Um, you can use the regular unsweetened cocoa powder or the Dutch processed, either one. I'm using the uh, Dutch processed today. And then, let's wipe my hands. And then for the lemon, you will need one teaspoon, four grams of baking powder and one teaspoon, four grams of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon, two grams of salt. And I'm just gonna whisk all that together. And then you will need one and one quarter cups, which is 250 grams of light brown sugar. If you're not weighing your sugar, which of course, I always recommend weighing your ingredients, but if you're not, if, then pack your brown sugar into your measuring cup because it is quite moist and coarse textured, so you want to really pat it down there. So I'm going to just mix that in as best as I can. You know what, there's a few lumps in that brown sugar. I'm going to use my hands. Break those up. And then chocolate chips. I'm adding one cup, which is 170 grams of chocolate chips. Now I'm just using uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you could use bittersweet, you could use white, you could use milk. You could even, sometimes what I do is kind of mix them, sometimes semi-sweet with white. Or if you really don't want chocolate chips, you could leave them out or you could add some um, nuts, butterscotch uh, chips, I think would be good. So, you know, you can vary that up. So that's our um, dry. So for our wet, I have two large eggs. You want your eggs at room temperature. Two large is 100 grams. And I'm just going to whisk that. And you will need one cup, 240 milliliters of buttermilk. And buttermilk, I like to use buttermilk. It's got a little bit of a tang, which is nice. And uh, plus it tends to make baked goods tender, which is a really nice thing with muffins. Now you can buy your buttermilk or you can make a really good substitute. You can just take one cup, 240 milliliters of milk and stir in one tablespoon of lemon juice or vinegar. Just, let, just stir it in, let it sit at, just on your counter for 10 minutes, and then it's ready. So that's a good you know, alternative if you don't feel like going out to the store. And you can also buy, another uh, option is buttermilk powder. And then just read on your package what it, you know, how much you use for a cup. That's another alternative. And then for our fat. We are using a half a cup, 113 grams of melted butter. So melt your butter and then you want it uh, to cool down a bit. You don't want to put the hot butter in here. And then I'm going to add for flavoring two teaspoons, eight grams of pure vanilla extract. I love vanilla with chocolate. <laughs> 
But, you know, if you don't, you can leave it out. And then what I'm also adding is one teaspoon, four grams of coffee extract. You know, coffee and chocolate. I, I actually think a little bit of coffee brings out the chocolate flavor. But, again, if you don't want to um, add this, you don't have to. Or, you know, if you don't want to go out and buy coffee extract, what you could do is add about a teaspoon of, you know, um, espresso powder or instant coffee powder, and you can just add that right into your dry ingredients. So that's another option. So I'll just whisk that. Simple enough. I'm just going to make a little bit of a well here and pour that right in. Muffins are so great because really, how long does that take to make? And then just stir. Now, the important thing is we just want to combine your wet with your dry. You know, don't get too carried away with, uh, don't over mix because then that tends to make your tough your uh, muffins a little tough. And that's why I, I prefer actually to um, make my batter by hand. I mean, you could use your mixer, but this is so easy, you don't need to. Okay, let's, let's make sure you get to the bottom there. Cause get all that flour. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so we've done that. Now we just have to fill our muffin cups with batter. And you want to fill them almost right to the top. You can use just two spoons, or if you have, you know, an ice cream scoop, that's kind of a handy tool. And you may say, what is the difference between a muffin and a cupcake? You know, for this, this uh, recipe, you know, not a lot. These are, these are kind of cake-like almost. I think the big thing is, you know, if you, uh, a cupcake always has a frosting, where muffins don't tend to. But, you know, you can turn this into uh, a really good cupcake just by putting in chocolate frosting or vanilla frosting on top. Okay, so even that out a little. I think that looks good. As you can see, I've filled them right up. If you want to make smaller ones, then of course you can, and you'd get a little more than 12. So now, baking your muffins. Uh, everyone's oven is a little different. And you know, I know chocolate is very difficult to tell when it's done. So what we're looking for they will rise when you touch the top it will be firm now when for these muffins what i like is when you put the toothpick into the center there it won't come out total i don't want it totally clean i want a few moist cl uh, crumbs clinging to the toothpick because i find if you do it like till the toothpicks clean they can be like not maybe the first day but the second day a little dry so that's why it's kind of like a brownie you know you always usually want a little bit of crumbs clinging to the toothpick but 20 i'm going to say 20 minutes but you know your oven may be a little different running a little hot so you know maybe check them at the 18 minutes just to make sure we do not want to overbake these Our chocolate muffins are done. Don't they look beautiful? See, they kind of come up. They don't dome too much. Kind of like what you get in a bakery, about the same size. And don't you love how it, you get the cracks on the top? It adds a lot of visual to uh, your muffins. Now, when I say, when I said I like a few moist crumbs, I thought, well, I'll keep my toothpick and show you. See, there is a, a bit, you know, it's mainly clean, but there is a few moist crumbs there. So that's what you want. And that way, I mean, the muffins, if you did it to the toothpick came out clean, the first day you'd find, yeah, that's okay. But maybe by the second day, they're a little dry. And we don't want that because, you know, you're probably not going to eat them all in one day. So 
What I'm going to do is put your pan, I put my pan on a wire rack. I'm going to let them cool, you know, quite a few minutes. And then I'm just going to use my uh, spatula and then just kind of go, go around, make sure they're not sticking, and then take them out and finish cooling on your wire rack. When that's done, we'll come back and try one. So let's try a chocolate muffin. They're still a little warm, just how I like them. So let's break one open here. Oh, look at that. So we've got the steam coming off of it. I'm going to have with a little bit of chocolate chip. That is, that's a really good chocolate muffin. You know, the cocoa powder gives you a nice deep chocolate flavor. And then you have the chocolate chips, kind of a double dose of chocolate. And they're, these muffins are moist and they're tender from that buttermilk and they're quite dense. They're just so flavorful. So, you know, a decadent way to start the day. I'm not saying you want to do that, want to do this every day, but for special occasions or, you know, later in the day, very nice cup of coffee. Perfect. So try these. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.